Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your September You versus Them Love Tarot reading. This is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Cancer, looking at your energy, their energy, and see what's going on, no matter your circumstance, situation, we're just going to see what's going on. So, Cancer, I'll be putting you here them here you can definitely switch it anytime you need to with this deck here we're going to get an overall energy um, of your connection and then overall gen energy for you and for them i got two tarot decks so we're going to look at um, things deeper on each side with separate decks and then i have the uh, spirit messages to get advice guidance for you the connection whatever you uh, need to know with that all right cancer Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch it, reverse it anytime you need to. Cross watchers as well. All right, Cancer, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Do keep in mind if something shows up or you're not interested, probably just not your reading, that's totally fine. It will not resonate for everyone every single time. Just leave it for somebody else. All right, I'm going to put that one back because I've seen it and... That card has been repeating and driving me nuts, so please give me what I need for Cancer. All right, right there. All right. All right, Cancer, let's see. Well, okay, then why did just show up anyway? All right, I'm ready to throw this card out the window, but it is what it is. So we have Magician in the Mirror. So we have 53, which is 8, which is Infinity, Travel, Action, Movement, Putting in the Work. So this is the energy of manifesting, but needing to take a deep look in the mirror and see... Uh, if we're manifesting from a well-balanced place, because we do have like fire and ice here. So that's like an equal balance of both. All right. So it could be also that maybe this has been a connection that's been on and off as well. All right. All right. Let's see. So we have walking away well in the world. Did you walk away from this person? And maybe you're at uh, a distance. It could be mentally, physically, emotionally. That could be about endings too, but also could be about new beginnings or at a distance or moving or traveling. So we do have 27, which is nine, which is about endings and new beginnings. And then we um, have 29, which is 11, life path, soul path energy, but it's also ones are about new beginnings. So, hmm. Okay, because I feel like you kind of walked away from this person and now you're definitely keeping your distance I definitely feel like there's distance here. So I don't know if now there's an energy of maybe wanting to s maybe start again or um, something to that effect. But let's see what's on their side. Thinking woman and caring connection. Mm. So we have 47, which is 11. So you both have 11. 11, 11. I mean, maybe twin flame doesn't have to be. But again, like past soul path entry. And one is about new beginnings. And we have 14 which is five, which has changed. The thinking woman and caring connections. Now, we do have the world here. Now, magician is Gemini, Virgo. The world is Leo, Horse, Taurus, Scorpio. Thinking one for me is um, like the Queen of Swords. So this is a Libra energy. So, or air sign. It's like they've been thinking about you a lot. Maybe this person didn't really show you how much they cared before, but now they're realizing like maybe how much um, you cared about them. So they've been thinking about you and this a lot, especially if you walked away and you're at a distance from them and keeping your distance. There definitely is an energy here of um, manifesting this, but needing to balance out the hot and the cold or the, you know, the fire and ice. All right, Cancer, let's see where this is going. All right, so let's look at your energy first. So everything you need to know in Cancer is down below. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do here. My backup channel not currently uploading there, but if you want to sub there, if you can't find me here, you'll find me there. All right, Cancer, so let's take a look at your energy right now and see what we need to know. Okay, let's see. Cancer, please. All right. Oh, Ace of Swords, Clarity from Source. Yeah, it's like you had big awakening clarity here. So that's like the Sword of Truth, Universal Truth. Um, clarity from the Universe, I should say. Page of Swords. I feel like you stopped talking to this person altogether. You might have first told them how you felt, told it like it is, and then maybe you like cut them off on social media, stopped talking to them altogether. Ace of Wands. So there was a lot of fire, passion, attraction, chemistry 
between you, Ten of Wands, very overwhelming. So I think the heat, the fire, the passion between you is very, very overwhelming. Uh, the Ten of Wands here with the Ace of Wands, just saying. I mean, you do have two Aces here. Let's see. Four of Wands. So I definitely feel like, you know, you had your heart set on someday finding someone you could settle down with, have a commitment with. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, exactly. Wow. Let's see. Six of Wands. So you could be doing very well right now financially, you know, making your money. You don't really have to rely on anyone. But you kind of dream of being in that committed relationship with someone, having someone who will commit as much as you will. Five of Swords. So, but in a way here, you feel like you've been... Um, it's, it can be sneaky energy, conflict... Um, Stabbed in the back, defeated, so you're feeling defeated, maybe stabbed in the back by this person. Uh, five of Swords is not a great energy. So I don't think you sabotaged this. I think maybe they sabotaged it, and you know that. So let's see, we have Capricorn showing up here. All right. So let's see, what else do we need to know here for Cancer? Now, some of you, you may be like, well, they lied, cheated, st stole, blah, 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 blah. I you never go back. I, I left. I'll never go back. That could be the case. But now they're really thinking about the connection now. Isn't that the way it goes? Eight of Wands. Death in reverse. Hmm. Devil. So that not great energy there. And the Four of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like you're holding back because of... Um, I mean, the devil could be that, you know, strong, intense connection between the two of you. Maybe it was starting to feel a little overwhelming, codependent, um, like you couldn't live without each other, whatever the case may be. I mean, when you did come together, when it was hot, but the Four of Pentacles definitely is an energy of withdrawing, holding back. Death in reverse, though, with the Eight of Wands upright is somehow, um, like, let go, but not really able to let go. Eight of Wands is about taking action, travel, or movement. So I feel like you took action to walk away, whatever, but there's still some part of you that maybe perhaps can't let go of them or the connection as much as you want to. Let's see, we have Capricorn, Scorpio, right? So the Four of Pentacles can be holding on, not letting go. It also can be holding back and not giving in or protecting or, you know, one's foundation as well. All right, let's see. Cancer, what else do we need to know? Oh, Six of Cups. So you think about, there could be children involved, but maybe you think about, you know, I wonder if things could be different if we came back together. Three of Pentacles. Could it work? Could it grow? Expand? Seven of Wands. But, you know, I have to set boundaries. I have to stand up for what I believe in. I have to tell it like it is. Not take any BS. So definitely standing your ground here. Justice. This could be a soul contract. Um past life energy as well you know wanting what you deserve truth clarity justice balance universal law and order things meant to be that could also indicate marriage or divorce in some way i feel like you just want this person to come in here and give you what you what is deserving of you in this connection but you're definitely not going to take any bs either but if this person is willing to grow and expand um, you know, I think you'd be open to that because we do have the turn, return right here with the Six of Cups. There's no getting around that. And it could also be about children or past life. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Why do I get this feeling like you don't like being like alone or independent? I mean, I don't want to say it that way. Uh, you don't like the energy of being like kind of single and alone and maybe it's just kind of boring to you i don't know but maybe you like being in relationships and being in love knight of cups here sometimes starts in reverse though is though it's coming out of sneaky energy i mean i don't see anything sneaky about that no lying cheating or stealing high priestess could be about communication it is in reverse so eight of cups reverse could also be the return ten of pentacles long term wealth growth abundance Nine of Cups, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Wow. So there definitely was an ending here, but I'm kind of feeling like, or separation or something. And as much as maybe you tried to let go and walk away, there's still something here you can't let go of. And you're kind of like, you know, I, 
you know, I, I feel like I'm single, I'm alone, I really don't like it. Not that you're not single and independent, or, or you're not, not, you know, independent and you can do things for yourself, but maybe you miss the connection, but it's not everything you wanted it to be either. Let's see, we have Libra showing up here. Justice card. All right. Okay, Cancer. So let's see. There's that fire right there with the, uh, actually the swords do represent winter. And then we have that fire. So there's that <laughs> hot and cold fire and ice. All right. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person. If this is resonating or you are enjoying this cancer, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated. And I thank you. And again, everything you need is below. Nine of Pentacles. So they got that single independent energy, but you have it in reverse. Ten of Cups. Again, now, you know, now that they're maybe like technically single, if there's been a breakup or separation, now Ten of Cups are seeing the value of this total package with you. Well, maybe wanting to now give you the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. I mean, we do have that caring connection. They are heavily thinking about this. My goodness. Nine, ten, and then eight. So you would want an one after the ten, a new beginning. So we have progression. Nine, ten, and then one. Ace of Swords reversed. So you have it upright and they have it reversed. Hmm. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, maybe you're feeling like they got to come in and communicate and really be upfront, honest, and clear. So I don't feel like they've done that yet, but it's kind of like they know they have to do this. All right. What else about this person for cancer? Let's see. Three of Swords in reverse. That could be them wanting to, like, unbreak your heart or un do a situation here that caused some heartache, pain, or disappointment. Hang man, so things, they feel like, they definitely feel the stuck energy here, the limbo energy, but that's also new perspectives and enlightenment. And usually then the hangman gets up and takes action. The wheel of fortune, so well, fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, moving in the right direction. They could be coming in to move this forward in the sun upright is like all healing peace harmony joy love light growth expansion love it's everything positive summertime energy as well so we have here uh pisces uh sag leo Aquarius, Taurus, scorpio and leo again so this this is massive healing over three swords is like undoing a broken heart or very disappointing energy bringing in the massive healing enlightenment growth expansion happiness moving this forward out of the stuck energy Wow, they can't stop thinking about you and this connection and the uh, connection you had with each other. So let's see. Page of Wands could be, you know, exciting news coming in, offer strength. So again, this is now wanting to overcome this energy. I mean, the strength and sun, most it's like the two positive cards of the deck. Strength overcomes anything. Again, that strong connection cannot be denied. Maybe even past lives together. Strong, courageous, and brave. Doing the right thing. Coming in with excitement. Offer, good news. Um, so we've got Sag and Leo here. Three of Pentacles. Growth expansion. I mean, we do have the Three of Pentacles right there. What is this one here? Seven of Pentacles. So they know they need to invest in this a whole lot more. Um, and everything is just standstill right now. That's kind of the Seven of Pentacles energy. Uh, seven and the Three is the Ten of Pentacles, long-term energy. And we did see that on the bottom of your deck, right? So, oh my God, they got the Seven. Oh, that's the Seven of Wands. I thought it was the Seven of Pentacles. I was going to say, you both have the Seven and the Three together, which don't. But anyway, I, I thought that was the Seven. But Seven and Three is the Ten of Pentacles. Long-term wealth, growth, abundance, marriage, commitment. If you subtract that, though, you get the Four of Pentacles, which is right here. Of that holding back or resisting or protecting or can't let go. Foundation. All right, so. That's way too many. Let's see what else we need to know about this person. 
Again, the strong connection cannot be denied. Ten of Swords reversed. Eight of Cups. So they know there's distance here. There's been walking away. But they still cannot let go of the connection. Ten of Swords reversed. And I feel like the separation or the walking away um, really made them see how much they don't want to let this connection go. Ten of Swords reversed. What else here for Cancer? Seven of Swords. Oh. Well, they got it upright. You had it reversed. So maybe they know that they were avoiding running out of fear. Or maybe they did some things they shouldn't have. Queen of Wands. You know, a lot of fire, passion, attraction here. Um, you know, King, Queen, it don't matter. Usually he's like the go-getter. Gets things done, takes action, and makes it happen. Leadership kind of energy as well. So I feel like they are going to take the lead and come in here. And it took this separation or this ending to wake them up to how much they can't let this go. Maybe realize what they've done, whatever that may be. A lot of you say no way, no how. So that, I mean, that's fine. Then maybe that's your choice. But I see them now realizing that they can't stop thinking about how much you cared for them and what this connection means to them. Sometimes, you know, it is a little too late, a little too, uh, it's a little, how can I say that? Too late, you know, a little too much too late or something like that. Anyway, page of, uh, Knight of Cups here, you know, forward movement, taking action from a sincere place. Page of Pentacles, so maybe they didn't give you that Page of Pentacles in, uh, before, and they didn't put in the work in before Eight of Pentacles, they know that. But they want this love again, Ace of Cups. The fool, they want a fresh, clean slate, fresh start, energetic reset, leave all baggage behind, negative energy behind, and take that leap of faith. But they're not sure how you're going to take it or if you still want this with them, Queen of Cups reverse. So that definitely is at play here. So they're a little nervous about it, Nine of Swords. But they could be offering a commitment here with the Hierophant, just saying. And it could be rather surprising to you. So we do have uh, Scorpio here. So prepare for this person to come in now and, you know, and they don't know how you're going to take it, but I think they're going to go forward anyway. All right, so let's see. Cancer. So I'll be doing bonus readings for September. So based on your sign and your most viewed reading the month before, uh, I'll do a bonus reading for that. So say in August, your most viewed reading was say you versus them, then you'll get another one, a bonus one for September. So that's how I'll be doing it for all the signs. So they're going to be different for every sign. And also I'm thinking about doing uh, the next three months in love and also a 2024 outlook on love. So if that's something you're interested in, go to the community tab. There's a poll up now you can vote on. All right. So let's see what advice uh, Spirit has for the connection or what else you need to know or the energy. Let's see. Give back. Today's a day to cast aside normal routines. Make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits. It's highly likely that someone really needs it today. I'm feeling like this person is ready to come now, come back now and give back equally like you gave to them. Light. Imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance this is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are so they definitely um i mean we have light we have the sun over here so they definitely see your light and now they're more in the light and they want to you know give back but obviously if you don't want it then that's up to you um cancer all right let's see receive oh my god give back and receive so they want to give back but they want you to receive them as well but some of you don't want it so that's fine you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others but now it's a time for you to learn how to graciously receive just as with the ebb and flow of the tides the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe so i mean you could have been one that gave 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 and they did not give back now they want to give back and they want you to receive it wow okay and we do have a lot of light energy here which is good Maybe they finally seen the light, but let's see. New beginnings. Oh my goodness. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because 
right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction so they want this new beginning wow let's see synchronicity so they're hoping everything's going to line up here and they're kind of like waiting for the right time too are you noticing the signs of synchronicity of the that the spirit world has been sending you at this time people and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence in reality they're being guided to you from spirit from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason so wow so yeah and i did say you about standing your ground i mean right there it's on the top of the deck so no doubt about that but um this is about things lining up so maybe now you know the energy is right for the two of you to come together or back together what you know but totally up to you, Cancer. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Cancer. So I hope that helped that resonated. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.